Hey everybody, now I'm going to answer some questions off of the YouTubes right here. And uh, yeah, I was going to answer them in text in the comments section, but I figure a video would just be easier. With this nifty new camera setup I got here, it's easy to do videos now. So uh, yeah, I got to stop looking at the screen here. Look at the camera. Anyway, so here here is the questions from David. Good questions. It's in response to a video I just put out called Adapting to Tech Trends in 2016. So the first question he was asking is, what exactly do I mean by templates? Well, I was talking about web templates. Somebody had asked about, were our web templates killing traditional web design where you develop design a site from scratch? And for small businesses, yes, I think it has a major impact. I think that templates now are so good in terms of the code and the design that the need to design from scratch is diminished quite a bit. For small businesses, you find with larger businesses, they're going to want to customize because they got the money to, to do that and they, care, they understand and they care more about their branding and they don't want to look like they're using some sort of template. That being said, templates are really good today. So I would recommend using a template and there's nothing wrong with that. As a web designer, developer, I would not feel uh, threatened by templates. Don't because they're just a tool set in your tool, well, not a tool set, it's a tool in your toolbox that you can leverage. Remember, whether you're building websites, <clears throat> creating database driven websites, uh, whatever, creating mobile skins, we're all using templates or code libraries to some extent. If you're using MySQL, you're using a prefab system, you're using an app that's been written and given to you for free. So instead of having to roll out your own database as people had to do 20, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, you just use MySQL or Postgre or whatever whatever database that you want to use giving your app. Think about these frameworks like Laravel and PHP or Ruby on Rails for Rail or Django or Java Spring. These are all frameworks of, uh, of code and they simplify the whole process. So th don't take these things as being, um, as hurting you. They just help you. So instead of having to cut down the trees in the forest, you now just go to the local uh, I don't know, wood shop and get the planks of wood all processed for you. So you don't make your money cutting down the trees now, but you make your money elsewhere. So yes, the profession of web design development is changing quite a bit because of templates. So I was talking about web templates, the visual components, the UI components of a site. Next question, he said, so if you're saying that building sites from scratch, I'm paraphrasing this, um, are you saying that I shouldn't bother trying to learn how to write code in HTML, CSS, and JS. No, you have to write HTML, CSS, and JS, right? because even if you're using a template, even if you're using a JS library like jQuery, or using a prefab template, uh, a WordPress template, a theme template they call them, or just a standard website template, you, st you still need to understand the code behind the templates to be able to tweak them, make little modifications because even the best templates there's going to be changes to be made little sometimes a little sometimes a lot and i've been advocating template use in terms of design and web design for long for the longest time it just saves money for the client it makes you more competitive and uh, it just speeds up the process so the role of the web designer the web developer has changed you're no longer stripping things up from scratch uh, for the most part, but you, you make your money elsewhere. So let's say you don't want to be a full-fledged developer. You just like doing user interface uh, design. So that's cool. So what you can do is you can become somebody who uh, understands all the templates that are out there, all the different options. So when you deal with a client, you say, well, okay, you interview them, you say, okay, what do you need for your site? And you take your notes and then you present to him uh, the next day or her or the following week, you present to the, the client uh, maybe three template options that you found. So here are the three templates. And you say, we're using templates 
because we're going to be saving you a lot of money because they're, you know, they're, they're prefab, but we'll, then we're going to modify them to suit your specific needs. That's where the coding comes in. You have to understand code so you can go in there and tweak the HTML, tweak the CSS, and maybe tweak some of the JavaScript, maybe bring in a jQuery library to do, uh, I don't know, some rotating elements within the page. Who knows? So you have to know code even though we've entered into an era of using templates in web development. Now, again, you know, to take away that fear, in coding for the longest time, we're, we are constantly using prefabricated chunks of code, whether they be whether they be libraries, whether they be frameworks, full-fledged frameworks like uh, Django or Laravel or, or Rails or Spring or whatever. That's okay. Template use is fine. It just changes the role. And in fact, between you and me, be glad that we have templates. Uh, doing the old, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The nuts and bolts work of having to create some basic user interface component is just, ah, uh, it's not fun coding. I remember back in the 90s, it would take somebody a couple of weeks, a friend of mine, it took him like two weeks to create a calendar picking app uh, a widget rather f for a HTML form. Now you just with HTML5, you just you set the input type to uh, to calendar. I think it is. I figured I'll all of a sudden off the top of my head, and boop, you got yourself a date picker or input type date, whatever it is. We, you know, I rather that than spending two weeks and billing the client two weeks to do this crazy, silly calendar stuff. Deal with the bigger picture stuff. So. If you don't want to get into raw code, go into server-side coding, where there's still a tremendous amount of work. You could maybe stick on the front end, user interface design, and get into more into usability, uh, which is UX, uh, user experience. Maybe you could get into things like web marketing, social media marketing. So you could take a template, get it into their site, uh, integrate their social media accounts, set up their social media accounts, help them out in terms of setting up a schedule where they can use social media, teach them how to do that. Maybe if they want video on their site, maybe you set them up a YouTube account or maybe a Vimeo account and you show them how to integrate all this. So instead of you becoming just a, a pure code monkey, you're in there providing a more, a bigger consulting service role and it's very, very lucrative. So you come in, more turnkey like that as opposed to just here's your website okay see ya that's another route the other route of course is getting into more advanced coding more advanced could be server-side coding where you're doing uh you know php framework coding with Laravel or something or maybe you can get into uh, or you know if you're in you're in ruby on rails you can do get into rails but that's a whole different beast in terms of the type of work you do remember in all my videos on this channel, I really emphasize how your business goals, your career goals affects the technologies and the skill sets that you develop. So you have to sort of think about what you want to do, what you feel comfortable with, and try to match that with where the market is. I hope that makes sense. To answer question number four, in the era of hand coding HTML and CSS websites, since they're fading, how exactly does becoming a JavaScript or in specific terms, a front end developer come into place? Are front end developers not hand coding HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to create a product? No, they're, they're hand coding for sure, but they're just not creating the UIs, the web UIs, the basic structure of the site from scratch anymore. You know, at the very least, they're gonna be using something like Bootstrap, for instance, right? If not a full fledged template. But again, today I would tell you, I would say that coders, front end developer coders, HTML guys, CSS guys, JavaScript guys, they gotta be much more sophisticated than they were 10 years ago. They have to be much more sophisticated than they were 10 years ago, which is good. It shows maturity in the whole uh, platform and the whole thing. So front end developers, the elite guys, are probably pe people getting into, uh, well, they, got, they know their way around Bootstrap, they know their way a little bit away, they're a little bit their way around jQuery, although jQuery is becoming more of a, a boilerplate stuff, sort of background thing, although it's used. Um, jQuery, of course, is used within Bootstrap. Anyway, but I think uh, the, the bucks will be in React 
JS React guys, maybe Angular 2 guys. Look into it, see if that interests you. It may or may not interest you. So that's an option if you want to stick to front end. But again, that becomes, you're much more of a coder. So question number five is, I mentioned in a previous video how JS developers hot, and then I said that uh, working knowledge of raw HTML CSS in the other instance uh, is long gone. Now, I didn't say that. I, I'm sorry I was not clear in that video. I'm not saying that being a hand coder is gone. What I'm saying is developing a basic user interface, a basic website from scratch is fading or is uh, under a lot of pressure for small business development, for small business development. There are still more established businesses where they will do things from scratch because they got the budgets and they understand that having a very precise layout to fit their particular business needs and brands comes in handy. You know, for instance, Studio Web, everything is custom. Everything is custom because it needed to be. Now, for many small businesses out there, whether it be the local butcher or the bakery or some nightclub or some bar or whatever, what have you, a lot of them, um, because they're not, the, the whole uh, web component of their marketing business is still kind of young for them because it's a new business, they don't have big budgets. They're the type that are going to be using templates for now. But at some point, if they grow successful, I'm telling you, they're going to probably be moving into custom websites and more customizations of the, of the template, at least. So no, again, I'm not saying for a minute that coding, hand coding is going away. In fact, it's becoming much more important. What I am saying is how and when you use that code is changing now. You're not building from scratch as much anymore. You're leveraging templates. Just like a PHP coder is no longer hacking out quick little PHP scripts. They are jumping into a framework many of the times. Uh, that would be a framework like Laravel or Symfony. Or, whereas Java guys, most of them are not going to be writing old-fashioned Java servlets, what I used to use a lot, and JSPs. Now, these are kind of like the primitive version, the first version of Java on the web for dynamic websites. Now, all the Java developers are going to be using some sort of uh, framework. These days, the most popular is the Spring framework. So, again, don't try not to be feel threatened by the fact that we have more automation, more tools that we can leverage as developers and technology professionals. They just speed up the process and they just change where the work lies. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there's a huge demand. It's only increasing. You just have to be aware of, of developing, you know, for now and the future as opposed to looking back. For instance, seven, eight years ago, Flash was big. There was a lot of work for Flash developers, okay, maybe nine years ago. It's dead now because, well, Steve Jobs pretty much killed it, I think. But nonetheless, doesn't mean that coding is dead. It just means that type of coding is gone. That area is gone. I hope that helps, and uh, that's it for this Q&A. Ciao.